Have you guys ever heard that buzzword that everyone just yells about or talks about? It's almost like the dot-com bubble. You just add metaverse to it and everyone goes nuts and ham. What does metaverse actually mean? Well, believe it or not, the metaverse is simply just a network of 3D virtual worlds that are all intertwined and connected with each other. I want to talk about a project that's looking to capitalize on the metaverse ecosystem. In today's KuCoin DigiDive, we're going to talk about Plutonian's PLD token. If you guys are ready to go ahead and get started trading with this token, you guys can get 20% off trading fees in the link in the description below. So what is Plutonians? Well, let's go ahead and check out the website and, and then we'll go ahead and dive into a trailer. Well, TLDR on Plutonians, pretty cool website, is that it's a Web3 game that's built on the Solana blockchain. This will intertwine several different Web2 games with the Web3 metaverse. So this will intertwine games like Space Invaders, Galactica, Mario, I mean... Dude, just look at it like Ready Player One. You'll just have a smorgasbord of all kinds of different games, all being able to be intertwined and interconnected with each other. Let's go and jump into this trailer so you guys can kind of get a general understanding of the project. They always said the sky is the limit, making us wonder what was out there, questioning the possibility of finding life beyond our boundaries. When the blockchain was created, no one realized that a gift crafted by alien minds had been seeded in our midst. Our leaders sought to control it, to limit its potential, despite humanity being on the precipice of an intergalactic awakening. Today, as the Interplanetary Union seeks to dominate the eight planets of our solar system, life on other planets and galaxies is no longer a mystery. It's a fact, and life as we've known it will never be the same. Like all superpowers, the Interplanetary Union has its own agenda. One that seeks to suppress the truth and control the masses. But with this threat comes an opposing force, one that fights for truth and freedom in our solar system. The universe knows no boundaries. Full of life and potential, that go far beyond our imagination. It's time to wake up and defy the limits imposed on us, to explore new worlds and the vast possibilities beyond our solar system. An infinite realm of galaxies awaits your arrival. Man, that was hypey. <laughs> um, but anyways, you can see that they are looking to capitalize on the metaverse in general. They don't want to specialize in one single place. They're actually looking to create a platform for everyone and create a metaverse that caters to everyone. If you wanted to play into a specific game with your new avatar or with a certain weapon or NFT, you can do that. These are basically interoperable NFTs using the metaverse in order to do this. So a little overview of the gameplay is that it will be like a RPG game. It'll also be a mix of classic shooter action with strategy, in-game co-op, building, collecting. There's all kinds of different games that are built into this ecosystem. The sky is the limit with this type of protocol. So let's go and dig into the white paper and I want to talk about 10 key Plutonians features. The first is the level editor and story editor. The second is spaceship and component editor to create a custom NFT system. The third is SPL token powered spaceships, which creates token burning. The fourth is chase items or increasingly elaborate and powerful ships with different technologies to capitalize on these NFTs, real time space travel, community created and curated free content, so instead of just the creators creating something, other community members can create something as well. And it also has free expansion packs. The last few things are an in-game economy, 
an NFT marketplace, and of course, memes. You gotta love them memes. So I wanna go back to the first point of level editor and story editor. The level editors allow for the freedom of de development, so there's no limits. This can literally expand and keep going, and as it grows, the people grow because it reaches out to more people who are wanting to build on the game. And then you also have the story editor. Let's say, for example, you say you want the story to go one way, but then someone else comes in and is able to expand on the story. This will also allow the game to grow and change. And come on, everyone loves customized games and even having customized NFTs. So here are a couple of tokens that are a part of the Plutonians ecosystem. The first one is the Plutonian DAO, which is the PLD token. This is the one that's going to be listed on KuCoin. It stands as the governance token. This will be used to create a decentralized system of law and in the Plutonian gaming system. So if you want to govern and direct where this protocol goes, you will need the token to do this. And then you also have Republic Credits. It stands as the in-game currency and is used as the payment token in exchange for the Plutonian's gaming ecosystem. So you can look at PLD, like the Axie token, and SLP being the RPC token. Now, a couple of other features that are going to be really cool is that this is going to be built on Unreal Engine. So as the game goes on, people can provide feedback and make better development. There's also going to be custom soundtracks. Everyone loves custom music. But why the metaverse? How is it expanding the internet? Well, you can see here, the first, it enables a universal avatar. Just because you have a Twitter av avatar doesn't make it public and transferable across all these other platforms. Like you see a certain avatar on a Twitter page, if you see that same avatar somewhere else like on Google, or if you see it on Facebook, it doesn't correlate and translate. The metaverse allows different worlds and experiences. It also allows 3D everything. It allows live streaming. It allows for more in-depth engagement and it even allows more interconnectivity. So here's the difference between Star Atlas, Plutonians, EVE Online, Elite Dangerous. You guys can see here, they have mining, they have exploration, they have combat, marketplace, organizations. This is the difference between Plutonians and all the other games. It's all the other games all in one. So it has a little bit of everything. And just because you like a piece of a game here, a piece of a game here, Plutonians is literally every single game in one. Here's a quick overview of the tokenomics. As you can see, 20% went to the team and advisors, 10 to education and marketing, 30 to the game ecosystem, 25 to treasury and liquidity, and 15 to community building. Here's a quick overview of their roadmap. As you guys can see here, they're looking to roll out different VR tournaments, competition, integrations, and then eventually into the expansion pack. This is going to happen every single quarter, so there is growth in the game. So what are my overall thoughts on the project in general? Well, I think it's pretty interesting that they are creating a interconnected metaverse to where it's not a specific game or a spe specific project, because I, I think that's extremely interesting because what happens a lot of times with these games is you play these games and once everyone's tired of it or just not playing it anymore, then people leave the game and they don't come back. However, if you have something that allows you to take all the time and energy you spent into that game and bring it into a new world and a game, it will allow someone to continue and keep using the same avatar they spent a lot of time working for. So it creates somewhat of a value capture for the time that was spent. So they are aiming for a large market share, but the biggest question is, can they do it better than someone like a Facebook, a Google, or another company that has a lot of money behind them and is specializing in this? Of course, as always, time will tell. We'll see what happens. And as for the tokens itself, it's the same thing. If you're governing over a protocol that is successful, then the governance tokens are more interesting. However, if the project doesn't see success, then the token usually correlates with that. And as for the value capture of the tokens in general, it is still too early to tell what the value capture mechanisms will be in the game, but I'm sure they will be used partially in the gameplay. If you guys enjoyed this KuCoin DigiDive on Plutonians, you guys can check out some of the other videos that were made on the KuCoin YouTube channel. If you have not already subscribed, 
make sure you guys go ahead and do so. And if you guys are ready to go ahead and get started trading, 20% off trading fees, baby, in the link in the description below. Thanks for tuning in, guys. See ya.